Welcome to Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy. Breaking Bad is filled with layers and symbolism, from the show's color palette, the parallel storylines, the costume design, but the most striking symbol in the show is the charred teddy bear and the dismembered eye that seems to follow Walt wherever he goes. Whoop-de-doo, what does it all mean, Basil? So let's take a deep dive into the hidden meaning of this bear, its burnt half, and that creepy eyeball. A little bit of backstory. The bear was part of the debris that fell into Walt's pool after the midair collision of a chartered plane and Wayfair Flight 515. Remember, Walt indirectly caused these 167 innocent deaths. He let Jane die, leading to the distraction of her father and air traffic controller. One, zero, thousand. Juliet, Mike, two, one, do you have that traffic at your nine o'clock? Wayfair 515, do you have that traffic? The bear appeared in the cold open of several episodes, hinting that some awful fate awaited the White family. The scenes are in black and white, except for the bear, which is a bright, hot pink. Now, every color in Breaking Bad has a special significance. We made a whole video about it if you want to check that out. Pink means innocence, youth, and tragedy. For instance, Jesse's last name is Pinkman, to highlight his childlike nature and tragic path. In fact, the bear first appeared in the digital release of a music video for Jesse's band Twat Hammer. The video and this mockumentary about the band are both set before the events of Breaking Bad, when Jesse was more naive and innocent. Now see, now you maybe say the word fuck. What, you can say right? fuck. No, you can't say fuck, all right? How are we gonna get this on VH1? And the bear next appeared in the High Low Mart during Walt's fugue state. By pretending to be an amnesiac, he's basically casting himself as a big, naked, innocent baby. And after this moment, he's temporarily freed from a life of crime. I'm done. So when you see this bear pop up in the show, it signifies innocence, but that innocence is about to be destroyed by catastrophe. When we look at this bear, we don't see just a toy. We see the child holding that toy. Instantly, the audience and Walt understands that he has caused the death of a child, an innocent life cut short by his evil deeds. Walt even wears a pink sweater during this crash to emphasize his connection to the disaster. The character on Breaking Bad who most often wears pink is Holly White. When these scenes first aired, they were something of a misdirect. They're framed to make the audience think that something awful is going to happen to Walt's family. Note the double body bags and the broken windshield on his car. But remember when the season started, Skylar was still pregnant. So the audience assumed that this bear would belong to baby Holly. When actually, symbolically, the bear is Baby Holly. She's even dressed as a pink bear in season four, and Walt tucks her in with a pink bear in season three. So why is Holly a symbol of both innocence and tragedy? Well, because Holly's birth, instead of being a joyous family occasion, actually marked the beginning of her family's downfall. She was born on the same day that Walt made his first meth delivery to Gus, the day he took his first step into a larger world of organized crime. That's right. Daddy did that. In fact, Walt missed Holly's birth just to make his first big deal. And did you notice what's lying in the rubble outside the warehouse where they made this exchange? It's a pink teddy bear lying face down like it's dead, foreshadowing the real tragedy of season two, Jane's death. Jane has a very strong connection to the bear. There's a mural in her bedroom, presumably painted by her. Now, like any art, there are many ways to interpret this work. Jane most likely meant this to depict herself sleeping. Note the alarm clock. The woman is riding a rainbow into the night sky, or a kind of dreamland. This is a naive, innocent way to interpret this work. But like everything good in Breaking Bad, there's tragedy lurking within. Knowing Jane's fate and the aftermath causes us to see this painting differently. The woman, Jane, is dead being carried into the afterlife into the heavens. Note that Jane died lying on her back, just like this woman. The alarm clock is indicating that her time has run out. And what's this? A pink teddy bear falling from the sky, a symbol of innocent dreams crashing down to reality. The image is mirrored in the season six episode, Rabid Dog. Jesse has decided to betray Walt to the DEA, in a sense, reconnecting with his original innocence. Behind him, way up in this tree, is a pink teddy bear. Much like Jane, it's watching over him from above. Jane also represents what is pure in Jesse's life. I'm in recovery, and you know, pot, it's like stepping stones. While Walt pulls him toward the darkness, Jane keeps him in the light, symbolized by the light and dark sides of the bear. Now, not that Jane is completely innocent. After all, she did try to blackmail Walt. However, this happened after she was corrupted by drugs. 
once Jane stopped being clean, her judgment was impaired. She was no longer as innocent. Jane is damned when she's corrupted by Walt's money. This is freedom. This is saying I can go anywhere I want. I can be anybody. Similarly, love of money corrupts and destroys Holly's family. The connection between Holly and Jane is made overt in the episode Phoenix. This is Holly's first day on Earth, and Jane's last. Early in the episode, Walt and Skyler carefully lay Holly on her side so she won't choke in her sleep, which later Walt refuses to do for Jane. In my opinion, this is the moment when Walt becomes damned. In a previous video, we discussed the moment he decided to break bad, but this is the first time Walt deliberately takes an innocent life. Now, like I said, Jane did threaten to blackmail him, but unlike Tuco or Crazy Eight, she's not a career criminal. She's a drug addict who's held captive by her disease. And just before this scene, Walt shared a beer with Jane's father, Donald. They begin by discussing an optimistic future where Mars is the new key to space travel. Ostensibly turning Mars into a giant gas station. Then these two middle-aged dads begin discussing their families. Can't give up on them, never. This conversation is vital because later, it helps Walt put a human face on his crime and understand that this disaster is his fault. I, I sit down and this man, this stranger, he, he engages me in conversation. He's a complete stranger, but, but he turns out to be Jane's father. It's easy for us to dismiss death when it's an abstract statistic. Casualty wise is just the 50th worst air disaster. But talking to Donald helps Walt put a human face on this tragedy. He sees himself in Donald. He feels empathy for him. He's a scared dad who's just trying to make the world better for his kid, just like Walt. Because Walt feels this empathy, he doesn't just feel like he killed Donald's daughter. It's like he killed his own daughter as well, just like he killed the little girl who is holding this pink teddy bear. Now this scene is a brilliant piece of acting by Brian Cranston. He goes from concerned and fatherly, and then indecisive as he begins to calculate the possibilities. <coughs> and when he makes his decision, a coldness washes over his face, shades of Heisenberg to come. And then, finally, he's filled with guilt and regret. It's heartbreaking. In an instant, Walt stops seeing Jane as an obstacle, a potential blackmailer, and he sees her as a young woman, a daughter. And someday, it could be his daughter, lying dead at the mercy of an evil man like him. It's also fitting that just before the crash, Walt does lose his daughter. Skyler leaves him and takes Holly with her. So Walt's criminal actions have caused the loss of three daughters, Holly, Jane, and the little girl holding the bear. The bear's scarred appearance is also a key component of its symbolism. Half of its face is charred and blackened, just as Walt lives two lives, good and bad. The color pink represents what is innocent in his life, like baby Holly, while black is the primary color worn by Heisenberg, the show's embodiment of evil. Gus also lived a double life. I hide in plain sight, same as you. When he's killed, half his face is burned away. Both Gus and the bear's scarred faces were revealed by a slow camera movement. The image also calls to mind the comic book villain Two-Face, a character who embodies the binary nature of good and evil. When Walt, Jesse, and Gus are all at their lowest points, they are pressed to the ground and forced to watch their loved ones die, much like Harvey Dent in The Dark Knight. Half of Jesse's face was also mutilated by Hank, and by the end of the show, half his face is permanently scarred by the Aryan Brotherhood. Gail Bedecker also lived a double life. And when he was murdered, he was shot just beneath one eye, the same eye that is torn away from the teddy bear. So let's talk about the eyeball. This common connection of scarred faces and tragic deaths implies that there's good and evil inside all of these characters, and they were all forced down a darker path by evil, violent men. Now we actually see the eye first, floating in the water like a grisly, dismembered body part. It's violently sucked into the pool filter, signaling that it's now a part of Walter White. It lives inside of him. Vince Gilligan did discuss the meaning of the eye, saying, when we were coming up with that eye as an image, it probably represented some form of the universe, the eye of God, the eye of morality. I guess if you're gonna hold my feet to the fire, what it means to me is the eye of God on Walt, if not necessarily judging him, nonetheless watching him, keeping tabs on him. And then the question, if that is what the symbolism stands for, 
then why does Walt keep that eye? Why does he keep it in his drawer versus discarding it? I believe that Walt keeps the eye because he can't throw it away. It's part of him sucked into the pool filter of his soul. He draws it from the water of his pool, and Breaking Bad often uses swimming pools as a symbol of emotions, a place where the rawest parts of the characters are revealed. So this eye comes from Walt's raw feelings of guilt. It's his inner moral light, a kind of Jiminy Cricket who's always judging him. And Walt does feel guilt about Jane, at least initially. He tries to rationalize the plane crash with statistics. Well, at any rate, what you're left with, casualty-wise, is just the 50th worst air disaster. So he clearly researched all of these numbers to assuage his own feelings of guilt. And he also cast himself as the victim of this tragedy. Things I've had to do. I've got to live with them. But his inner truth is revealed in Fly, an episode that strips away the trappings of Breaking Bad to reveal the character's true emotional selves. I'm sorry about Jane. So the bear symbolizes Walt's attachment to his own humanity, and this is also why the toy is bright pink in a sterile black and white world. Gilligan and his team were inspired by this iconic scene in Schindler's List. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, as Nazis destroy the Krakow ghetto, Schindler sees a girl in a red coat running through the streets. Before this moment, Schindler was a calculating war profiteer. Jews were used as cheap labor in his factories to make material for the Nazi war effort. But this girl calls out to Schindler. Through her, he sees the Jewish people as human beings, not just workers. She is a symbol of goodness in a world devastated by evil, and she awakens the man's humanity. Just as the pink bear represents what Walt loves in life, his family, his daughter, and Jesse. But just as the girl's red coat later appears in a wheelbarrow full of corpses, the bear is destroyed by the evil in the world, the evil he created. And the eye, unburned by the crash, is all that remains of the bear. It sees Walt, unblinking, always looking at his true self. He can lie about his reasons for turning to crime, but the eye can see what's really inside of him. I did it for me. I liked it. In many respects, this is the eye of God or at least the eye of universal, objective truth. The cousins find it while they're waiting to kill Walt, but they don't seem to care. After they leave, Walt sees the eye has been disturbed, in a way informing him that he's being watched. In season four, Skylar's about to help Walt break bad so she can help Hank and Marie. While looking for Walt, she finds the eye in a drawer and then discards it. So this eye, this higher power, is slowly judging her as well. Walt can lie, live a double life, kill, murder, but the eye sees what he really is. There is also some evidence that the supernatural, or at least a belief in the supernatural, exists in Breaking Bad. The YouTube channel Life is a Story posited that in the final episode, Felina, Walt actually speaks to God. Now, in this moment, when the cops are bearing down on Walt, he says, Just get me home. I'll do the rest. And then the car keys magically fall from the visor as if a gift from heaven. So the bear came from the heavens and landed in Walt's pool, a symbol of his roiling emotions. The bear is taken away in a metaphorical body bag, much like Jane. But this eye of innocence, mangled by Walt's sin, is pulled inside of his home and it never leaves him. Wherever Walt goes, the eye follows, watching, judging, seeing him for what he always was, an evil, prideful man, searching for an excuse to break bad. Well, guys, what do you think about the pink teddy bear? Let me know in the comments below. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. For Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy.